Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to another FPL review of my team. We have just completed game week 5, of course, and as you can see, we got 69 points, which is way better than the last two weeks, which was, what, 39 and something else? It was 39 and 59? We've jumped to 69. We've had a great week, which maybe could have been a bit better if I captained someone else, but hey, you take the risk sometimes, like I did when I captained Watkins and it failed, and sometimes you take the risks and it works. I did not take a risk this weekend, but as you guys can see, we start off terribly as Allison did not play, so he got zero points. He got me zero points because I didn't have another goalkeeper that played either. I had King from Wolves, who doesn't play. Oh no, sorry, from Villa, I think. I think. Anyway, we had a second choice goalkeeper that doesn't play, basically. Um, so we got zero points for the goalkeeper, which was very sad. Especially that um, Kelleher, the um, Liverpool backup, actually did very well. So if I had both of them, if I could get both of them, my team I had both of them, it would have had a good week. Um, it would have had an even better week, up to 80 points, basically, almost. But then we go to our back line, which was Pedro Porro, who had a bad week with only two points. We had Virgil van Dijk. We had Pedro Porro losing three... Well, no, they, they beat Brentford 3-1. But he did, yeah... He didn't do well, did he? He got two points because they did concede. Um, and then you look at Van Dyke. Liverpool won 3-0 against Bournemouth. He got a clean sheet. Boom. And then also Cucurella, who got a clean sheet as well. But yet again, another yellow card, which gives him a minus one. We then go to our midfield, and it's just Smith Rowe, who came in for cash, who didn't play. So Smith Rowe comes in, which was um, the perfect thing to happen, because he scored a goal and got a bonus point in their 3-1 win against Newcastle. Onana didn't have any, didn't do anything, played 61 minutes, getting the um, two points, the max points for minutes played, as they beat Wolves 3-1. Three, three, um, and then Mo Salah, who got an assist and a clean sheet, um, and no bonuses, got me six points, which the captain gave me 12. Jim and Sun got me 10 with two assists and two bonus points, um, playing the 90 minutes. And then you go to the front line, we had two for Isaac, who didn't do anything, basically, against Fulham as they got battered 3-1. And then we have Ollie Watkins, who got a goal um, and played the 90 minutes, which got me um, him getting six points for me. And then the big one, Nicholas Jackson, the big one, who played 63 minutes, got two goals, one assist, and three bonus points, which gave me a total of 16. Imagine if you captained him. Yes, Cash was out. Casado would have been great to have him instead of like Onana, because he did well with one assist. But I think I had a good week. Overall, had a good week. Now, let's check out game week 16, which I have made some transfers. Ooh, as you guys can see here, King was my keeper, um, who doesn't play. But game week 6, my team has Allison in goal still. We don't know if he's going to be able to play. We've got Van Dyke. We've got Cucurella. We've got Cash, who I don't know if he's going to play. I think he might play. 50% um, chance of playing right now. And Gabriel, who we brought in, who the Arsenal have last year. I'm like, I have to bring in an Arsenal defender. And who better than the man who scored a goal in his last two games against Spurs and Man City? Gabriel, because he's a beast from corners. Um, so that's my back line. And then in the midfield, we've got Smith Rowe. You know, he's had a great start to the season. Hope he can continue that. Mo Salah as captain again. We've got Onana and Son. Um, then Jackson and um, Watkins. I'm thinking of changing the captain's here to Watkins, but I'm like, nah, because I don't think he will. I don't think he'll have a good game. Then the bench is Cursada, who will come in if Cash doesn't play, um, and Pedro Porro and Izak, who both won't play, because Pedro Porro will concede to Man United, in my opinion, and Izak I can't see scoring against Man City. We did bring in Cells, who I wish I brought in a keeper that actually started as my backup keeper, but I made that mistake. Um, it didn't really matter this week because he only got one point, but he does play. He is their goalkeeper, which means if Allison doesn't play, he will come in as they got Fulham, which is kind of a a bit of an all for me because I got Smith Rowe. I would rather Smith Rowe does better because I think because he'll get more points. But yeah, that's the team basically for this coming week, game week six. Um, let me know your teams in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.